How you doing everybody? This is Top here today. I want to do a review on a PlayStation Plus game for PS4 and this game is called Velocity 2X. Now this is the second version of Velocity. There was a version that was for PS3 and I guess they came out with this one for PS4. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of background about the game and who it's developed by. Uh, this is a shoot 'em up video game developed by Future Lab for um, previously made for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Portable, now released on PlayStation Vita and PS4. And this is the second version called Velocity 2X. Now, a little bit more about the game. Uh, gameplay, it involves you navigating a quad jet, a teleporting spacecraft through space while avoiding and defeating enemies using bombs that can be flung in different directions. So you're gonna see that gameplay later on. Uh, the main goal of the game is to rescue stranded ships. Um, you get different abilities throughout the game for your ship. Also, while flying the ship, there'll be like docking bays that you can go into where the character will kind of get out and you'll have to destroy the locks so that your ship can move through. And in that little section there, she'll end up having like different weapons, like be it, I think an assault rifle and things like that, which are really nice the visuals were just absolutely amazing and i had a lot of fun playing this so some more about the game is by disabling these switches that i was talking about you'll be able to move forward uh, the game allows players to teleport so your ship can almost like when you reach an obstacle and you're blocked you can teleport to the next spot so you can really move fast and when you get really good at this you can see yourself kind of going through it really quickly and here's some gameplay of me just kind of flying the ship in the beginning it's really easy but later on in the stages you can see where the teleporting is very important and where if you get good at it it could be really cool like going fast teleporting through the objects really quickly so there are like different puzzle elements where you'll have to figure out when to teleport and how to open up the locks and you know being really careful not to catch yourself and then kind of get smushed against the wall and blown up where you'll have to start all over so the plot behind velocity velocity is set in 2000 2212 the star velo has collapsed into a black hole rendering nearby space mining ships colony cruisers and special forces fighters without power only the cord jet is capable of rescuing rescue operation because it has the power to teleport unfortunately the mission is further complicated by an invasion of a neighboring race moreover the ships can only be rescued after disabling their shields the shields can be disabled through circuit breakers the circuit breakers are scattered throughout the the board and you'll kind of see these circuit breakers when you're in your ship and then when you got to dock and get out as the player and run around and break and destroy these circuit breakers so going on a little bit more um, in velocity the player takes on the role of cord jet or quarp quarp jet i think that's how we pronounce it q u a r p jet and they must find the station disable their shields and rescue stranded ships concurrently they must also battle with invading race the zet the zet techeron and this is one of the races that are trying to kill you and you here you can see me fighting one of these guys right here and here's his big ship you know so it's pretty cool there's going to be boss battles in this and this was one of the first ones that i did and it wasn't too difficult but you can kind of see where they're headed with it and where it can get a lot more difficult but later on in the game like i mentioned you will get upgrades to your ships whether it be the guns maybe even shields bombs that you can shoot out at the sides and things like that right so my impressions of the game now now that i've given you the background and everything playing this indie game and like i said before i played a lot of different indie games and this was a lot of fun um, the visuals were amazing you could see that there was a lot of detail to the game where the cutscenes and um, the animations the drawings and be it simplistic or not you could see just the explosions the colors there was a lot that could really keep you involved in this game also the puzzle solving and just that older kind of feel of you know the spaceship flying around trying to solve the puzzles moving quickly teleporting and things like that i enjoyed this game and i would recommend it to anyone who is interested in trying it out it is free on playstation plus store so you know it's one of those games that you can just go on ps plus and download and try it out and it's always cool to try out these new little indie games you know support the indie developers um i feel sometimes that these little 
games are really well done you can see there's a lot of heart and soul put into the games um, just by looking at some of this artwork where if you go into the menus you can kind of check out the artwork you can look into the journals um, things that you've picked up uh, you can also go into the enemies kind of view who your enemies are and different things that you'll be fighting throughout the game it gives you a breakdown of it um, who they are and just a lot of detail in the game and you can see that the people involved in this game really put a lot of work into it uh, also you get to see i think you also get to see um the characters you'll be dealing with in the game in here um planets that you may be visiting so all of this is in the menus you know you can kind of view and see what's going on so i thought i'd put that in there to give you an idea it also describes your your ship the warp sh um, shield and what it is so my impressions once again i really give this game a thumbs up you know i would think about purchasing it you know i think my son would probably love it and i think anyone who tried it out would be really impressed with this indie game so take a look at it it's on playstation plus store Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. Peace out. Thanks for checking out my videos. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you like what you see. And hopefully I'll bring you some more great content in the future. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.